Hi and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a tagged VLAN in the UniFi network. So if you want to know how to do this keep watching this video and I'll show you how. Hi and welcome or if you're not new to this channel then welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a tagged VLAN meaning we're going to set up a port that is tagged to a VLAN in the UniFi network controller. As you can see, I'm already logged into my UniFi network controller and I'm running my network controller on a UDM Pro and the version of the network we are using is UniFi network controller version 8.0.28. So what we first need to do is go into our port section of our UniFi network controller and this is the port section which you can select from the left hand side menu and it's got four little symbols which represent network ports so click on this and this will then take you into your ports section where you can see the ports available on one or all of your network switches now just to make you aware that make sure you have the right switch selected and you would do this by clicking the switch option here and the drop down arrow. So I'm going to be using switch number one. So as you can see I've already selected switch number one and the ports that we're going to be tagging are for my PBX meaning voice over IP telephones which are currently residing in VLAN ID 30 which is my PBX VLAN. I've already allocated one of my telephones to tagged VLAN so we'll just go ahead and I'll show you how to do the other one. Now when you are doing this I would recommend that you put your devices that you want into the tagged VLAN and use static IP addresses for those devices rather than DHCP. It just makes things easier because we're going to be setting the VLAN ID manually in each network device. I would also recommend at the same time that you give it a static IP address. It just makes things more consistent and easier. So the first thing what we need to do is bring up the device that we want to put into the tagged VLAN. So in this case I'm going to log into the control panel for one of my voice over IP telephones by bringing up the screen and logging in to the web interface. As you will see I've now brought up the web interface for my SNOM model D862 voice over IP telephone and obviously depending on what you're configuring the um, screens will look obviously different depending on what device you're configuring. So in my case I'm clicking network and then I'm going into the basic network settings and here at the moment you can see we have DHCP enabled. So what I'm going to do is turn that off and then under the IP address I'm going to be configuring it with a static IP and at the moment it's got a DHCP address of 192.168.30.5 and just to make you aware dot .30 is my PBX VLAN and it's also VLAN ID 30 and it's giving it in the range of 30 for the IP addresses. So I'm going to be changing the IP address to 192.168.30.3 which is the next IP address in the range as my other telephone has dot .30.2 dot IP address statically set so I'm going to be setting this to 30.3 for this next telephone. You will see that the net mask is 255.255.255.248 this is because I only have an IP address range with six IP addresses configured in the UniFi network controller for this VLAN and at the same time I'm going to be changing the host name which you don't have to do 
but while I'm doing the network settings, I'm going to be changing the host name to boip01.local. You will see that the IP gateway is 192.168.30.1. This is correct and it remains the same. It's only that we've changed the IP address and also turned off DHCP here. Now that we've done that, we'll go ahead and apply changes. And then it's saying that a reboot is required. However, before we do this, what we're going to do is go into the advanced network settings. And what we need to do is set the VLAN ID. Now, as I said, the PBX VLAN has a VLAN ID of 30. So we'll need to put that in there. So we'll put in VLAN ID 30. So you must set a VLAN ID in your network device before you actually set up your switch port to have tagged VLAN ID traffic. So make sure that you set the VLAN ID first in the device which is connected to the relevant VLAN port which you are setting tagged traffic for. So now that we've put the VLAN ID in, we'll click apply changes. This is now automatically rebooting the network device. So while this is rebooting, we'll go back to the network controller and select the switch port. And as I said, we have switch port switch number one. And the switch port that we're now going to be setting tagged VLAN traffic for is switch port 20. So we'll click on switch port 20 in our port section, which we've already selected. Then under the name, you can change the port name from port 20 to whichever you want just to make it easier to find the relevant network device in the future the port needs to be of course active the native vlan stroke network needs to be set to none so make sure that you set the native vlan network to none this is for untagged traffic so this section here relates to just untagged network traffic then moving down to the tagged vlan management this section relates to tagged vlan traffic only so here what we need to do is select custom and then tagged vlans you'll see has just popped up underneath tagged vlan management what you need to do is click on select and then what we're going to do from the pop-up window that appears is we're going to select PBX which is VLAN ID 30. So now that we've selected PBX VLAN ID 30 we'll click save and as you will see in the tagged VLANs box we now have PBX VLAN ID 30 in there. So this is now going to Remove all untagged VLAN traffic from going to that port and it's going to allow tagged VLAN traffic for PBX VLAN ID 30 only to go to that port. So once you have done that, you can then click apply changes. This will then reconfigure that port. As you'll see at the moment, we've got a message saying blocked by STP. However, this will disappear and it might reappear once or twice before it actually permanently disappears whilst it's still configuring the actual port. So just wait for the STP to disappear and then you should have the telephone put into the tagged VLAN. That's all there is you need to do to set up tagged VLAN. So this now means that those two ports, port 18, which I've already configured previously, and the new port, which I've just shown you how to configure, port 20, will only accept traffic with tagged VLAN ID of 30. So to test connection to our new phone, we'll now enter the new IP address 192. 168.30.3 which is the static IP address we configured in the device so we should now be taken to the actual web interface 
and as you can see we've now got to the web interface to log in so just enter the login credentials and here you'll see we've now connected successfully to my voice over IP telephone on the PBX VLAN so we we'll log out of that close that page now we know it's working successfully so that's how easy it is to use tagged VLAN traffic in the Unify network controller. I hope you found this video useful. Keep a lookout as further videos are coming again soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.